Welcome back to Algo.js. Today's question is leak code 435, non-overlapping intervals. So you're given an array of intervals where interval at i is equal to start at i, end i, return the minimum number of intervals you need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non-overlapping. So the question is self-explanatory, it's pretty intuitive. So we just need to return the minimum number of intervals we need to remove in order to create an array where there are no intervals that are overlapping. In the first example, we need to remove one, three, because there is an overlap between 1, 2 and 1, 3. As soon as we do that, we have no more overlap. So as you can see, 1, 2 ends on 2, 2, 3 starts on 2. So that is not considered an overlap. And then 2, 3 and 3, 4 are not overlapping either. In example 2, we just have an array consistent of 1, 2. So we need to remove two of those in order to create an array where there are no overlapping intervals. So how would we go about solving this? Well, the first step is to always sort the input array. And we are going to be sorting this by the second values within this array. So we're going to have a sorted values that look something like this. So these have now been sorted and we can map them out onto our diagram. Now say we start at position one within this. So we're going to start at position one. So this value, we'll call this current. So we'll have the current value. We'll have a start and end point, start and end point of previous as well. So we'll call this one previous. And in order to see whether there is an overlap here, we compare the last value of prev, so the end of prev with the start of current. If there is an overlap, then we need to keep some kind of track of how many times we find an overlap. So we're gonna have a count variable, which is going to be set at zero. And every time we find an overlap, we're just going to increment that. So at this point, as we stated in the question, this is not considered an overlap. So when it's not considered an overlap, we reallocate prev to current, and current to the next value within the array. Okay, so this is going to have start and end. Is current start less than prev end? It is indeed. So we can increment count here and we can move along. So we update current to here, prev stays here, and then we look at prev end with current start and we check to see whether there is an overlap there, in which case there isn't. So we move along and as you can see, there's nowhere else to look. So we just return count. So the reason why we take and sort via the second value within this array is because say we had, so say we had an input array like this. If we map this out and we ordered them via initial values, so say we go up in 10, so, so say we ordered this by initial values, we're going to have 1, 100, 111, 212, and 1122. So this is going to be our sorted array. Okay, so if we map these out, if we follow the same solution as we did above, we're gonna compare, say we start off at index one, we're gonna compare current with previous. So current start is going to be compared with previous end. So is current start less than previous end? Yes, it is. So we increment count. So count is going to go to one, right? And then we move this along. So we move current up here, we compare it to start. Current start is less than prev end again. So we increment count to two and then Again, we are going to increment count because there is an overlap there as well. And we have an output three. But the actual answer to this is two. There are only two overlaps. And I'll show you why. So with this initial input, say say we ordered it by the second values. So we're going to have one and 11. We're going to have two and 12, 11 and 22, and one and 100. This is going to be our sorted array that we're going to do through. So as you can see, it's in reverse. So if we run through this quickly, so we're gonna have current here, prev here, compare prev end with current start. There is an overlap here, so we can increment count. We're going to update this. So current's gonna move up here. Is there an overlap between current and previous here? So current start and previous end, there isn't here. So we don't increment count in this case. We just update previous to current and we update current. And then there is one more overlap in this case. So this is incremented to two. So that is the final answer. So we always need to make sure that we sort this via the end values. So time and space analysis, time is going to be O N log N because that is what is required with sorting. And space in this case is going to be O of one. So initially we need to sort intervals via their second value. So taking A and B, and it's going to be a1 minus b1. So that's sorted the intervals via the second value. Then we need to create a k 
count variable, which is going to increment every time we find an overlap. And we need a previous, which is set to zero. So we're going to loop through this array starting at one. I is less than intervals dot length i plus plus. Just say let current equal intervals at i to make this more readable. So if current at zero, so current at start is less than intervals prev at end, so it's less than previous at end, we can increment count. Else what we need to do is we need to update previous to i. Okay. And then it's just a simple case of returning count. So let's give that a go. Submit it. And there you go. 